Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hussain Ali Sheikh, uh, role number SP21 BCS023, and I am from section 1B. Today I will be talking on Pakhtun culture. Pakhtun culture comes from Pakhtun Wali, which is an ancient way of life and a code of conduct for the Pakhtun people. It involves speaking of Pashto and wearing a Pashtun, Pakhtun dress. It is native to the land of northwestern Pakistan and southwest, southern Afghanistan, which is also referred to as Pakhtunistan. The people who follow Pakhtun culture are known as Pashtun, Pakhtun, Pashtun, Pathan. They are one of the largest tribal groups in Afghanistan. There is no true written history of the Pakhtun in their own land. Pakhtun are traditionally pastoral nomads, which is they are herders who move frequently uh, to find grazing land with a strong tribal organization. Each tribe is divided into clans, subclans, and patriarchal families. Pakhtuns have lived for centuries between Khorasan and the Indian subcontinent at the crossroads of great civilizations. Pakhtuns are made up of about 60 tribes of varying sizes. Each one occupies its own territory. Pakhtuns are the major tribal group in Afghanistan, but in Pakistan, Pakhtuns predominate north of the town of Quetta and between the Suleiman mountain ranges and the Indus River. The language, the language which is spoken by Pakhtun people is the language, uh, uh, the language which is speak, spoken by Pakhtun is Pashto and uh, Pashto is one of the two official languages of Afghanistan. Uh, it is also the language of 12 million Pakhtun in Pakistan. Uh, Pakhtun uh, or uh, Pashto belongs to the northeastern uh, group of languages within the Iranian branch of Indo-European. Pashto is written in the perso arabic script. Some typical examples of Pashto language are uh, the words used for parts of the Pakhtun code of the morals and manners called Pakhtun Wali. The religion which is followed by Pakhtun is Islam. Islam was introduced to the Pakhtun in the 8th century. All but a few Pakhtun tribes are a follower of the Sunni Muslim sect. Uh, then we're going to talk on the Pakhtun code, uh, which involves the uh, which involves the Pakhtun Wali code. Pakhtun society is a, a largely group oriented and attaches great importance to an unwritten code called Pakhtun Wali. The code defines the way members should behave to keep the tribe together. Uh, hospitality is a great aspect of this Pukhtun code, uh, as is the use of the tribal council called Jirga to resolve conflicts and make decisions. Other Pukhtun virtues include courage, uh, tura, taking revenge, badal in Pashto, and protecting one's honor, gherat. Another part of the Pakhtun code of conduct is Nanavati, a way of resolving differences through the group elders. Uh, the family life uh, involves uh, the eldest male who holds complete authority over the extended family. Married sons live with their father's households rather than establishing homes of their own. The household normally consists of a man and his wife, his unmarried children and his married sons along with their wives and children. When young women marry, they join their husband's family and transfer their loyalty to their husband's family as that is their home for the rest of their lives. Economically, the Pashtun family is a single unit. Wealthy members contribute to support the poorer. Older members are supported by their children and the whole family shares the expense of having a child away at school because uh, they, the Pashtun, they do not have uh, much literacy rate and uh, a concept of education. Now they are developing a, um, this sense of education, but uh, in the past they didn't. So all of the family members uh, sh contribute in the expense of uh, the child who is sent for education. Uh, now we're gonna talk on about their clothing. Traditional male dresses, femmes, 
a loose fitted shirt that reaches to the knees and shalwar uh, full trousers tied to at the waist with a string or a nada as we call it a vest is usually worn over the shirt footwear consists of chaple thick leather shoes most pakhtun adults adult males wear pagde turbans long strips of cotton cloth are worn around around the head leaving the forehead uncovered usually men also wear a long white piece of cloth called chadar on their shoulders when it is cold rural women wear uh, baggy black or uh, color trousers a long shirt belted with a sash and a length of cotton over their head to cover their hair city girls also wear the same clothing except they wear burkas a veil which covers the whole of the body uh with this i end my presentation i hope you like it thank you